here we are, we've moved from uh, River Core Sem and we're now at the site of the monument to the nations of the Battle of Cambrai 1914-1918 and uh, it's an absolutely beautiful day today so it's been a great great time to come and visit here we've just driven across from Bolsham to River Core which we came across off, off road thanks to a great bit of uh, navving by L Shannon so effectively we drove across battlefield areas that tanks would have come across in the battle uh, remarkable place as I stand here look at the flags behind me of all the nations involved in the battle as you look down here you've got the tank tracks symbolising the attack the footprints of the men that walked are here right beside the tank tracks as you can see the paths that surround this memorial shaped in the Union Jack lead to important points of the battlefield as I uh, turn around you can see the battlefield now in front of you Mr Shannon and Mr Hartcastle obviously giving a bit of lip giving a bit of lip while they're standing learning to read because it's not a as you can hear Shannon is informing Hardcastle that it's his turn to buy a cheeky little beer Actually, it should have been Union Flag not Union Jack I think. Uh, it's Union Jack it's not a technical error because he doesn't understand he hasn't read up on it because actually that is also another uh, myth about it it can be Union Jack or a Union flag uh, and many others are, are getting a bit confused by that myth so uh, they need to learn their history a little bit more don't they so but yeah I'm sure I'm sure plenty will blog on especially the Navy boys but there we go um, it's uh, it's been used and called that for many years if they want to go back and look up their history but anyway can we get back to the matter in hand Hardcastle's getting a fine and here we are here we are battle site battle of Cambrai all in front of you we pan back round and yeah there we are yeah man who's going to get a fine Mr Hardcastle as always, a verbal pain in the arse. But we do love him. We, we love him because obviously earlier today, out of car boot, he funded the purchase of a bit of ordnance. So well done, AD, on that one. And, uh, it's a beautiful, peaceful day now, but obviously, back in uh, 1917, September, November's, it wasn't so quiet and uh, a lot of men lost their lives to give us what we have today, the ability for us to have a bit of a laugh and a bit of a beer and a bit of a giggle, but uh, our due respect and honour is still paid to these men, the most uh, most gracious we are too. Anyway, off for a cheeky little one now and uh, see you soon.